Good morning, praying parents. This is the day that the Lord has made. We rejoice and we are glad in it. We are glad in this week. We are glad every day. We are glad because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Praying parents, the joy of the Lord is your strength. You get up every morning in the week to put food on the table. You're laboring over your family, over your children. The Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your well will never run dry. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will bless you. The Lord will increase you. The Lord will provide for you. The Lord will make a way where there seems to be no way for you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will fight all your enemies on your behalf. All your battles are won. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will hear your cry over your children. He will attend unto your prayer. You will not be overwhelmed. In the mighty name of Jesus concerning your children, you will not be overwhelmed in Jesus' name. You will rejoice in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will cast off all your enemies in Jesus' mighty name. As you step into a new week, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your week. I pray over your children. I pray over your family that the Lord will hide you from the secret plots of the enemy. Psalm 64 verse 2. I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will hide you and your children from the secret plots of the wicked, from the rebellion of the workers of iniquity. In the name of Jesus Christ, I plead the blood of Jesus over your week. I plead the blood of Jesus over your children's week. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord will hide your children. He will hide them from the secret plots of the enemy. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you see, the plots of the enemy is not open. They don't plot in the open. They plot in the secret. They plan secret plans. They hide from the truth because they don't want you to know what they are up to, what they are doing. But the Lord says that he will hide your children. He will hide you from the secret plots of the wicked, from the rebellion of the workers of iniquity. Oh, Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We magnify your holy name. Oh, I thank God for your children. I thank God for your family. I thank God for your home. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Christ uh, against every plan of the enemy of, of, over your home, over your lives, over your children. In the name of Jesus, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you and your children will be strengthened with might through God's spirit in your inner man. In the name of Jesus, that you and your children will be strengthened with might through God's spirit in your inner man. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus over your weak. Whatever the wicked are planning, oh, right now the Lord will hide you from the secret plots. He will hide your children as they go to school. Whatever the enemy has plotted against them at university, city at college, wherever they are at boarding school, in their jobs, oh, the Lord will come against the secret plots of the enemy and he will hide you. In the mighty name of Jesus, he will hide your children. In the mighty name of Jesus, he will hide your children. He will hide you from the rebellion of the workers of iniquity. In the name of Jesus Christ, I plead the blood of Jesus over your week right now. No weapon fashioned against you this week or any week shall prosper. No weapon fashioned against your children shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh, we bind every weapon of the enemy. I come against every weapon of witchcraft assigned against you, assigned against your family, assigned against your children. It shall not prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, no weapon of the enemy fashioned against you shall prosper. The weapons of witchcraft, the weapons of seduction, the weapons of deception, the weapons of evil, the arrows of evil, they will not prosper over your home, over your children, over your marriage. The enemy will not ravage your home. In the name of Jesus, the devourer will not devour you or your children. In the mighty name of Jesus, your children will not be prey to the hands of the enemy. You will not be prey. Your home will not be prey. Your family will 
will not be prayed. Your marriage will not become prayed. In the name of Jesus. Rebeke saka talababa, le breba gazeke talababa, le breba zege rabaga yagara bagazeke. Oh Lord Jesus, I give you praise, I give you glory, I magnify your holy name. Maraba gazeke tele baba, le breba gazaga talababa, le breba gazaga talababa, le breba gazaga talababa. I plead the blood of Jesus over your children, over your home, over your family, over your marriage, over your job. Alaba reba gazeke, over your children's education over their relationship with you. Whatever it is that the enemy has done, it will be broken to pieces right now. In the name of Jesus, uh, we come against every plan of the enemy, every assignment of the enemy, every machination of the enemy, every secret plot of the enemy. We bind it right now. In the name of Jesus, I decree that it shall not come to pass concerning you and your children. The secret plots of the enemy shall not come to pass. We bind Find it right now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. We come against the works of wickedness. I want you to say, Father, I plead the blood of Jesus against every work of wickedness assigned against me and my children, against me and my home against me and my marriage. I come against every plot of wickedness, every secret plot of witchcraft assigned against me and my children, assigned against me and my home, assigned against me and my family, assigned against me and my job. Oh, I come against it right now. Every secret plot of the wicked assigned against me and my children's education. I plead the blood of Jesus against it right now. In the name of Jesus, Amakale Makarab, I want you to open up your mouth right now and begin to speak with me. If you don't speak in tongues, open your mouth by faith and begin to speak with me right now. The Bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. We pull down every stronghold. Assigned against your children, assigned against your marriage, assigned against your home right now. We pull it down, we pull it down, we pull it down. We pull it down. We pull it down. Pull it down right now. Say, I pull it down. I pull down every stronghold, every wicked plot that has been assigned against my home, every witchcraft spirit. I pull them down. I pull them down right now in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and let's begin to speak. You will prosper. Your children will prosper. Mazama Kalebaka Yakalababa. They will have clarity of mind in the name of Jesus. There shall be no confusion in your camp. In the name of Jesus, you will bear good fruits. Your children will bear good fruits in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. Oh, we magnify your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praying parents, if the kingdom of God suffers violence, the Bible says that the violence shall take it by force. You've got to take back your peace by force. You take back your children by force. You take back your home, your marriage, your job, everything that belongs to you that the enemy has stolen, you take it back. You take it back. Take it back. Take back your relationship with your children by force in the name of Jesus through the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I seal your children with the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over their minds, over your mind. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Praying parents. You know the revelation that God gave me this morning as I was asking him. He was speaking to me about Manasseh, Manasseh, the son of Hezekiah in 2 Chronicles chapter 33. 
Manasseh was 12 years old when he became the king. And he reigned 55 years in Jerusalem. But the Bible says in verse 2, but he did evil. He did evil in the sight of the Lord. He did evil in the sight of the Lord. This is my prayer. That even as God promotes your children, they will not do evil. They will not do evil in the sight of the Lord. That means that evil is not far from us. You see, we have every great potential to do good, but we also have a potential to do evil. So I pray against evil in the mighty name of Jesus, that as God promotes our children, they will not do evil in the sight of the Lord. The Bible says Manasseh did evil in the sight of the Lord, according to the abominations of the nations whom the Lord had cast out before the children of Israel. The Lord had cast out all these abominations and Manasseh had gone back to the old ways and began to work for the devil. He built altars in the house of the Lord, of which the Lord had said in Jerusalem shall my name be forever. Oh Jesus, Father, we thank you. Oh Makaseke Talababa, Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Helabakaseke, listen what he did. He also cost in, in, in Second Chronicles chapter 33, he also cost his sons to pass through the fire in the valley of the son of Hinnom. He practiced soothsaying. He used witchcraft and sorcery and consulted mediums and spiritists. He did much evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. It is evil that provokes God to anger, the evil wickedness of men. The plotting of the wicked, the secret plots of the wicked will provoke, will provoke God to anger. When people are thinking evil of you, plotting evil against you for doing nothing against them. This boy, this boy, this, this, this boy that became the king who reigned 55 years. You see, God can promote and God does promote. God promoted him after his father. But look at what he did. So some fathers leave a good legacy, but the children destroy it. We pray today that our children will not destroy the legacy that we, have, we are building right now. You are building a legacy by praying for your family. You are building a legacy by praying for your children. I pray today in Jesus' name that our children will not destroy that legacy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Makaseke Talababa. I pray that our children will not provoke God to anger. They will not use witchcraft. They will not use soothsaying. They will not not use sorcery. They will not consult mediums. They will not consult spiritists. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will not do evil in the sight of the Lord. I want us to pray and say, Father, my children will not do evil in your sight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, they will not do evil in your sight in the name of Jesus. I want you to say, Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus against every work of evil, every plot of evil, every plot of wickedness, every secret plot of evil. I come against it right now in my home, in the lives of my children. Oh, Rabaka Shaka Talababa. They will not do evil in the sight of the Lord. My children will not do evil in the sight of the Lord. They will not do evil in the sight of the Lord. My children will not use witchcraft. They will not practice soothsaying. They will not practice soothsaying. They will not use witchcraft. They will not use sorcery. They will not consult mediums and spiritists. In the name of Jesus, Alabareba Shaka Talababa. He placed a carved image he used he set a carved image he made an idol in the house of god he made an idol in the house of God. Our children will not build idols in the house of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our children will not build idols. Evil idols in the body of Christ. You know there's idolatry in the body of Christ right now. We come against it in the mighty name of Jesus. Our children will not be seduced in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we break the yoke of idolatry in their lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we're praying. Amen. Praying parents, you know, the, 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 the other revelation that God gave me was that Manasseh seduced Judah. He didn't only do that evil, he seduced somebody else. That's why we have to be careful who the friends of our children are, who, who our friends are. Who are your friends, praying parents? I'm asking you today. Who are your friends? Because they could be seducers. They could be liars. So let me read it to you. 
Second Chronicles chapter 33, verse 9. So Manasseh seduced Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem to do more evil than the nations whom the Lord had destroyed before the children of Israel. Friends can seduce us to do evil, can seduce our children to do evil. Let me tell you what seducing spirits are. They are lying spirits. They take over people. When the spirit of seduction comes, it will take over that person. They will reverse the truth in their mind and the spirits and make it seem wrong. So, 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 so they, will, they, will, they, will, they will twist things. They will tell lies. They will tell lies. And the Bible already said that there are false prophets among us. They are seducing spirits. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 4, the Spirit speaks expressly that in the last days, in these latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Oh Jesus, we give you praise. We give you glory for giving us revelation. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5, 8, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walks about seeking whom he may devour. The Bible says be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walks about seeking whom he may devour. So what's happening now is that the powers of darkness, they become intense because these are the last days. So we can't sit on the fence. We can't afford to. We can't sit on the fence. Hallelujah, Jesus. So these seducing spirits, they're lying spirits. They take over people. They reverse the truth in their minds and spirits and make it seem wrong. They reverse the truth. They present things that are false as if they're truth. They're liars. And make them sound completely believable. Don't be deceived, praying parents, by friends. Don't be deceived. I plead the blood of Jesus over your children against unfriendly friends. All these seducing spirits, they try to convince people that black is white and white is black. That false is true and true is false. So that they can lead them astray. And before the, the children know, the spirit's moving and they take over. I plead the blood of Jesus against seducing spirits assigned against our children, against your children, against my children, against our home, against our ministries. We come against seducing spirits, lying spirits, foul spirits of hypocrisy. People who are taken over by seducing spirits are without feeling. They have no feelings. According to 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seed with a, with a hot iron, we plead the blood of Jesus against these lying foul spirits who control the people that they possess. They seduce and they lie. They tell lies. They walk through the minds of people, of believers. They drop into the souls of people. I plead the blood of Jesus this morning against seducing spirits in Jesus' name. I declare and I declare our families, our children, our homes, our husbands, our wives, they will not be taken over by seducing spirits in the name of Jesus. I want you to right now come against seducing spirits. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, if any seducing spirits that have been assigned against my family, against my children, against my marriage, against my home, against me at work. I rebuke those seducing spirits now. I rebuke those seducing spirits now. Rebuke them. Say, I rebuke you. Seducing spirits assigned against me, assigned against my home, assigned against my family, assigned against my husband, assigned against my wife, assigned against my children. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Now open your mouth and begin to pray by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mazaba kalabaka yekalababa lebre bazo kotolo baba ereba gajaka 
Talababa, ne brebaga zeke, la brabaga zaka, ne brabaga zeke talababa, e rebaga ya kalababa, ne brebaga zeke talababa, ne brebaga ya kalababa, ne brebazaga jalababa, ne brebaga ya kalababa, in the name of Jesus, Mazabarabaga sheke, my home will not be seduced, my children will not be seduced, my family will not be seduced, I will not be seduced, brain parents, you will not be seduced, your children will not be seduced, in the name of Jesus, these are spirits of witchcraft uh, that makes a lie truth and truth a lie. They're very subtle. They tell you things that you want to hear. Or you will think they're on your side uh, and they're against you really. Mazama baba. Le dara baga sheke talababa, le braba gaze ke talababa, le braba gaze ke talababa. We come against every seducing spirit. O raba gaze ke talababa. Assigned against your family, assigned against our families in the name of Jesus. Baza bare baga shaka talababa. Yes, Lord, let them be disgraced. Let them be exposed. Let them be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Mazama rema gaze ke talababa, le braba gaze ke talababa, e rebe gaze ke talababa, le braba gaze ke talababa, le braba gaze in the name of Jesus, your children will not be taken over by seducing spirits. You will not be taken over by seducing spirits. Oh, your home will not be taken over by seducing spirits. Your family will not be taken over by seducing spirits. We plead the blood of Jesus against seducing spirits. La Braza Catolo Baba. We plead the blood of Jesus against seducing spirits. We plead the blood of Jesus against seducing spirits. We plead the blood of Jesus against seducing spirits. In the name of Jesus, Mazama Rabaga Shaka Talababa, Lebre Bagazeke Talababa, Erabaga Jaka Talababa, Erebega Zaka Talababa, Erabaga Zeke Talababa. Thank you, Father. Oh, yes, Lord. Mazeba Zeba Rabaga Sheke Talababa. Our children will walk in God's divine will. Your children will walk in God's divine will. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, they will not be taken over by seducing lying spirits. In the name of Jesus, Alaba Rabaga Sheke Talababa. We rebuke the missionaries of the devil. In the name of Jesus, these are what seducing spirits are. The missionaries of the devil. They want to rob our children of their place in God. Oh, we put a stop to it today. In the name of Jesus, nobody will rob your home. Oh, the devil will not rob your home. Missionaries of devil, they will not rob your home. They will not rob your marriage. They will not rob your children. They will not rob your family of your place in God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, you will not step out of God's will. Your children will not step out of God's will. Your family will not step out of God's will. They will remain in the will of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you, almighty God. Oh, thank you for revelation. You know what God is doing, praying parents? He's revealing the secret things of the enemy. All those secret things, all those secret devices, all those little wicked plots. Uh, God is revealing re- revealing and shaming him in Jesus name. Father we thank you. Oh yes Lord I prophesy over you praying parents and your family that your souls shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness and your mouth shall praise the Lord with joyful lips in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I repeat it according to Psalm 63 verse 5 praying parents you and your children's souls shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. And your mouth shall praise the Lord with joyful lips. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. I plead the blood of Jesus over your week right now. I decree that you will have a fruitful week. Your children will have a fruitful week wherever they are. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, they will prosper. They will flourish in the courts of their God. You will flourish. You will hear good news and negate any bad news coming to your door, coming to your home, coming to your family. I bind it right now. Any assignment of bad news concerning your family, I decree and declare it shall not come to pass. In the name of Jesus, it shall not come to pass. In Jesus' mighty name, the Lord will bless you. And bless your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord will bless you with houses full of all good things which you did not fill. And your children, he will bless them of houses full of all good things which they did not build. Yes, Lord. According to Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 11. He will bless you and your family with hewn out wells which you did not dig. He will bless you and your family with vineyards 
and olive trees which you did not plant. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Your week is already blessed. Go in the joy of the Lord. Step out into this new day, this new week, and keep rejoicing, keep praising him. Keep reading the word, keep speaking the word, keep worshiping the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Listen, you are already victorious in Jesus' name. Your children are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, and amen. Good morning. It's Pastor Lade. God richly bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.